20 minutes past the hour. One of the most famous rock operas is about to get its most operatic performance yet. Pete Townsend, the songwriter and lead guitarist of The Who, is teaming up with an opera singer, a symphony orchestra and a choir for a new version of his 1973 album Quadrophenia. The tenor Alfie Bow is taking on the part originally sung by The Who's lead singer Roger Daltrey. Weekend's Dee Sebastian has been talking to Alfie Bow. I love Quadrophenia. It's something that I've been listening to for a very long time, obviously, since I was in my early teens. Well, you weren't born, were you? No, well, you I were just born when the, when the first album came out. I was a week old. A week old, and I told Pete Townsend that, and then he hit me. But no, it, it didn't really. It was, it was weird to think that I'm going to be singing something that was written around the time that I was born. But the music is fantastic. How do you feel about being Roger Daltrey? I mean, how about <laughs> taking over from well, Roger Daltrey in well, the lead? I'm, I'm feeling more about the, the role of Jimmy rather than, rather than Daltrey. I think if I start thinking about taking over from Roger Daltrey, that's quite a daunting task. And, and Give us a quick them. synopsis of the story. Jimmy is, is a very frustrated teenager, 19-year-old. Nobody understands him. He is so determined to be the rebel in this world, you know. There's, there's the fight between the mods and the rockers. I mean, Mods and Rockers was very much of its time, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was. In the 1970s. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah. that translates to any gangs now. Really. It does now. It does now. Well, the, the rest, the, you know, the rest of the story goes is, is that his frustration continues when he sees his, his friends. Basically, they start growing up. They don't want to fight anymore on Brighton Beach. They want to just live a nice, peaceful life. But Jim is still that determined guy. I'm travelling down cold metal Just a tear in the pain because obviously the recording's out in a couple of weeks, yeah, but yeah. Uh, you're going to do a live show. That's the bit that I'm intrigued about. That's right, yeah. What are you going to wear, Alfie? I'm going to get as rocky as possible. I think I'm. Gonna... I hear tell that you quite like leather trousers. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, Pete Townsend and Rachel Fuller, who did the orchestration, she said that I need to be wearing beautiful, slick DJ, like a mod suit DJ, with a huge sequins target on the back. You know, so I don't know. And it's at the Royal Albert Hall, which yeah. for, for our listeners, they probably have heard of it hope so it's absolutely vast isn't yeah, it yeah it's incredible. i mean it's bigger than most opera concert halls <coughs> yeah isn't it? without a doubt it's a beautiful place to play i've played there many times and the excitement backstage is just as good as the excitement on stage so your voice will obviously be amplified yeah unlike in opera for example what about the range the range is pretty challenging there's not many low notes there's ridiculously high notes yes. which roger does I just think, how the hell do you do it, basically? <laughs> but I, I sing it my way. I sing the piece as a trained classical singer. Born on a quiet street corner, free frustration in our minds and our toes. Quiet storm water, my, my, my generation, all pushing down us in the way Let's talk about those songs. I mean, I just picked out a few that I've always liked. I mean, The Punk and The Godfather. Oh, my goodness, yeah, that's a wonderful, wonderful track. And that's the duet I sing with Pete Townsend. I'm the guy in the sky, flying high, flashing eyes, for surprise, I told lies. I'm the punk and the Godfather. Then there's the song 515. 515. That's when Jimmy's supposed to be on the train to Brighton. To Brighton, heading down to Brighton. In the movie, I think he's actually off his face. Out of my brain on the <laughs> yes, let's get on to that. The, yeah. the drugs and the drink and stuff, aren't yeah, So yeah. I'm wondering how, as in a normal concert performance, you'll stand fairly statically in front of the orchestra. Yeah. Are you going to be jumping about a bit? I, I, I will doing have to. A, you know, yeah, yeah, taking yeah. the microphone off its stand and running up and down. I and won't be spinning it like Roger Daltrey does on, on the wire, but I, 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 I won't be stood still. You can't stand still when this music's playing. And this is what Pete has been quoted as saying about you. Okay. He says, he reminds me of Roger Daltrey. He's a real pleasure to work with, obviously, he had to say that. Yeah. Okay. And 
Then he says he's funny and good looking. The girls like him. Well, obviously, this is Radio Alfie, but yeah, you know, I can yeah. assure the listeners that's definitely true. Oh, well, thank you what for that. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, did he? Did he also say that he's going to push me into the pit? He as did. Well? I was leaving you to add that. But right, he said he's yeah. going to push you into the orchestra pit. Do you yeah. think he is? <laughs> I'll, I'll that's, be, I'll a, be... that's a long drop, if I remember I, rightly. As long as he doesn't hit me with a guitar, I can do what he wants. <laughs> but that... Let's talk about the ending. Love, rain, or me. Mm. The song. It sort of ends in a scream, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's a release of all the anguish, all the frustration, all the tension that he's gone through. He wants to be loved. He wants the girl that he adores to love him. None of this is happening. So it's like a real somebody grabbing his heart and pulling it to pieces and then stepping on it. Alfie Bowie with Do Sebastian, classic Quadrophenia, <laughs> out on Deutsche Grammophon on the, the 8th of June, just over a week's time. Uh, let me ask you, John, do you think that's going to work? Hearing little bits of that, it makes it sound like it will brilliantly. I certainly hope it does. I love the way different musical genres are breaking down now. So you have opera and rock and you can have jazz and you can have all different forms of, of uh, hip-hop and classic and... and and house and everything getting mi uh, mixed up and mashed up, which I just think is absolutely wonderful. Um, and God, I wish I could be at the Albert Hall for mm -hmm. that, but I will be seeing them at Glastonbury at the Big Rock Festival. The, the, um, but that'll be more, uh, uh, I was going to say more classic, more classic who, but more uh, more the who that people will remember. Yes, it's funny, isn't it? You, 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 by giving it a new twist, you make yeah. it more current and get yeah, people interested in which, which is brilliant. talking about it and whatever, yeah. but is it necessarily as good as the original? It just, it just moves on and you can never recreate the original. Silla? I just think it's thrilling that something that was first uh, popular and thrilling in f 40, 45 years ago is now back and in this form. I was just riveted when I was listening to those clips and I just wish I could get to the Al Albert Hall to hear it. Or possibly we can all get a glass to me with John because that sounds pretty good <laughs> as well, to be honest, doesn't it? That sounds like a nice uh, version of it. Uh, thank you very much indeed for, for being with us. If the weather holds, which it rarely does in London, I might try and uh, play some tennis. Enjoy. Thank you both for being with us on the programme, John and Scylla. We're going to end this edition of Weekend with a bit more of that new recording of Quadrophenia and Alfie Bow and Pete Townsend. This is The Punk and the Godfather. Thank you for being with us on the programme. Back same time tomorrow. <laughs>